to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. My mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. The way forward blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. And there should be some way to open it. A mechanism somewhere. I like a capstan. Mm. Those blocks up there. Try moving then. Enough to curse you with, kid! Great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you can take the shock of it. I can handle myself.
the Sitter. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see. Looks nothing like the man they call the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. One more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. The pictures carved on them. These pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence there. But what? Predators. The other is prey. Which predator goes with which prey? That's the question. Right, there's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey. these stones here. Seems like they might do. That's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished here. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim! Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention, and take fewer lives. Use them darts on this one coming now. 
quick. Quiet and effective, see? Many thanks, but no forgiveness. Labor brought these soldiers, or the prince himself. Plague and perish if this ever happens again.
who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prinz. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant. Prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Hi. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So, would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. So, what'll you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Ah. But wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> With this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand thee. Let's take her then. For the citizens of Jackdaw!
Your Excellency, I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate, but your name was borrowed the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. This gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way, using you and your gold. Wait. 
I may tear roof round the rim, but I'm no room jack that I do. <laughs> Who'll be from the deep there, Captain? Jack thanks you hardy. Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Ken, will you run this scheme alone at the risk of losing the faith of your crew? It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slave. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward, what the hell are you doing here? I'm taming these men to the sage. And you hold off till he appears. 
The Sage is here. Aye. And Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my blade for a time, but not long. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Nearer 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Ah, I see. Much has changed in that short time. Ah. I was not aware. I don't envy their love. Ah, I see. Much has changed in that short time. None called me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ah! Ah! I was not aware. You couldn't help me, could you, Kevin? Sticking your nose at the things you can't understand. You're making me nervous, kid. Keep your blades caught. So many churches. Just my bloody neck. Have the English as last eight to target. And I'm kept from killing them both. Ah, Steady, Jim. Come close. Them. Don't worry. Cut no stars. Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Yes. To transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience. But how far is it? We are nearly there. Stand your ground, slave, and face corporal punishment like a man. Why act like a man now, when you have denied me that right for 30 years? I find your bearing appalling, Prince. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural quality of all races or sexes. Surely men with talent and intelligence should leave. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, to see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, uh, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So I bother. For virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? Oh, Torrin. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. There's stories about you, Trusha. You have a government in Florida for a time. See, see. 
I am one of a number of civil servants in my family. I have always toyed with the idea of being politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not in my ears. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if they touch less permanent. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um... You say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! Kill Kenway for a better cause. hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both. Patience, man. You'll have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that!
wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the Sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. before I do. Kill him, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right? Damn, man. How is it you're a woman? Christ, Edward. Is that something that needs explaining? Now, I'm here to do a job. I'll let you be amused later.
Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. to keep your eyes peeled tonight. Because there's some men about bent and making trouble. I'll spread the word!
hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. 